Hello all you beautiful people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm kind of doing a different type of video, kind of vlog style. I don't know what exactly to call it because I'm actually using my phone to video everything today. I feel awkward when I carry around a camera. I do have a better vlogging camera than I normally use, which is a Sony. Uh, don't know exactly what it is, but... I've used it before. You guys know what camera I'm talking about, and I've talked about it on my channel. So I'm kind of going around shopping today. That's pretty much what you guys are going with me. I already stopped at Ulta, kind of did a thing, kind of already went uh, a little ham because... Where's that bag at? Oh, if I can find it really quickly. So I already went to Ulta today, and I definitely got some stuff. I got my Ulta magazine in the mail today, and it had the 10 off 50 coupon on it. So I went ahead and just went to Ulta and bought some stuff because, you know, a girl can never have enough makeup. So I don't have footage of that, but we'll definitely go over later the stuff that I got in my bag, either in this video or in some type of future video. And then I already went to the dollar store, which I should have either showed you some of that footage or I'll show you here shortly in some of this footage um, coming up shortly. But yes, I went to the dollar store. Uh, again, so uh, right now I'm taking a quick pit stop at Costco to pick up some groceries that I need. Just like two items. I'm getting some keto bread because they sell it specifically here. And I'm also going to pick up some avocados because I love avocado and toast. So they go perfectly together. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and head into Costco, see what's going on in there. And then we'll keep driving on. I think I'm going to go thrift shopping as well. So I'll probably end up showing you that later. Um, but yeah. I love you guys so much, so let's just go ahead and keep jumping into this video, and yeah, so if you guys love this video, you know what to do, you know the gist. If you like videos like this, don't forget this video a big thumbs up, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and don't forget that notification bell down below so you never miss a video with me, your girl Senior D, and let's just go ahead and get into it. everyone so finally right now we're gonna start off in Costco like I just told you kind of gonna go ahead and zip through here but the first aisle that I always go to because I'm over 21 is the liquor aisle because they have some really great stuff this gin I bought for the first time the Kirkland brand is actually really amazing they have really good tequila like this one right here $20 for that 1.75 this is I think a 1 liter or 750 um, that's the Anejo Tequila by Kirkland. It is amazing. You can get a lot of really good stuff here. The Kirkland brand I definitely suggest if you want to try out. Um, they pretty much have everything besides, I think, a scotch. Um, and then now I'm going over here into the grocery aisle just to kind of see what's going on. But I told you what I needed. I needed to get some avocados, which is what I'm looking at. But the first bag that I grabbed was completely like over ripened. So yeah. Next, kind of moving on to the clothes, I kind of took a sneak peek over here to see what was going on. These Adidas leggings are actually on sale again. They were originally in $19.99 the last time I was here, and then I put them in my cart, but I actually went ahead and put them back because I don't need them, and the actual waistband on them is not that great. Now they have all this really cute Fila stuff that was over here in the clothing aisle for the women's. You've got these quarter zip-ups that are pullovers that I thought were super duper cute, but I haven't worn Fila in a really long time since I was younger. I actually didn't even know that they were still kind of in style, but I ended up not getting anything. Now we're moving on to the first dollar store. So the first Dollar Tree um, had some really good stuff. As you can see, they had some cool lashes, the matte lipstick from Broadway, these type of artisan brushes, my favorite wet and wild brushes. Uh, moving over, you see a lot of LA colors. It's just the traditional line. The pro line actually is the best. And then we stumbled upon some really cool Maybelline mascaras, which is the Snapscara, which came out about two years ago. So this was a really cool find to find it in the Dollar Tree. And I think that's pretty much it. Just kind of giving you a little bit of an overview what the beauty section looked like here in the first Dollar Tree, which is the one that's probably about 15 minutes away from my house, uh, which didn't really take too long to get there. But yeah, this was the first Dollar Tree that we decided to go to. Then next, we're off to the second Dollar Tree, which is the one all the way out northeast. I think there's still like two or three more Dollar Trees that I could go to. 
um, all around my city, but I'm not really sure if I feel like going up for that journey quite yet. Um, especially since I know some of them might not have good stuff, especially the one out southeast. I probably wouldn't expect that one to have good stuff um, just because it's just a very rundown dollar store. But this one we're kind of just walking around trying to find the beauty aisle and we found it right here. Now this one is the one out north. I actually expected this one to have way better stuff in it, uh, but it did not. Well, I guess in the beginning when I first went to go look at the beauty aisle, it did really didn't have much, but we did find this really cool Maybelline um, eyeliner, which I thought was pretty neat in a color that I've never tried before. So I'm definitely up for the challenge for that. And then I found this random end cap that had a bunch of stuff on it. Obviously you can see it's been pretty picked over. I, I can tell you that this is actually the end cap where I found the best stuff in this Dollar Tree. So I'm super excited for, to show you guys in an upcoming video after this vlog um, all the stuff I actually picked up from the dollar store. So look out for that. All right, so I stopped at home for a second to uh, let my beautiful puppy out, Mr. Morpheus. Um, cause he needed to go potty and I've been gone for about two and a half hours. So it was about time, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a small little haul with you guys from Costco, showing you what I got quickly. So I only got like a few items. It wasn't much. Um, I got this big bag of limes. Isn't this ridiculous? This was $4.29. Like that is ridiculous. The only reason why I got this many limes is because your girl loves citrus a little bit too much. Um, and I love to eat lemons and limes just by themselves, but I also love them in my martinis. I love them in my gin gimlets, which goes on to the next thing that I purchased from Costco. And it would be this lovely big bottle of gin. So super good. Super excited to try this out. It's like as big as my head. This was $17.99, I believe. Kirkland Brown or the Kirkland brand, I'm sorry, Kirkland brand of alcohol is so good. They have vodka, they have gin, they have tequila. Obviously, you guys saw in the clip that I showed you, they've got whiskey. I don't know if they have scotch, but they pretty much have it all and also their own wines. So if you're ever looking to buy alcohol in bulk, which is for like a party, you can actually go to Costco. You actually don't even have to be a member to go to Costco if you're only purchasing alcohol. At least that's what I know for it is, or at least I know that's the way it is here in Indiana. So and then I also purchased some avocados you guys saw in that clip. And then the last thing I went there officially for was for the keto bread. So two loaves of bread, I think it's like $7.29 for the keto bread. And it is really delicious. It's a little bit more on the denser side compared to regular bread, but it is zero net carbs. There is 10, 10 total, or not 12 total carbs, but 12 or 12. Oh my God. I can't speak 12 grams of total carbs, but there's 12 grams of total fiber. So it ends up coming out to zero net carbs when you actually are eating it, especially on the keto diet. And it makes it so good. So I can have my avocado and toast and eggs, or if I want to have a peanut butter sandwich, so good, so good. So that's everything I got from Costco. I did end up going to the dollar store again, which you guys obviously saw in the clip before this but I did find some really good stuff and I'm super excited about it. So um, I'm gonna leave my house here in a second. We're gonna go thrifting and continue the rest of our day and then hopefully be back here within the next hour because the Goodwill is not that far from my house. Um, I also need to get my car washed at the same time. I was gonna go get it washed earlier, but the line was extremely long. So I'm hoping it's a little bit shorter this time, but I was kind of on a time limit because I had to come home really quickly um, because we had to have our friend who is a plumber come back over because we had uh, a leakage with our new dishwasher, which is kind of crazy, but he got it fixed really quickly, super easy. Uh, but yeah, also uh, if I haven't put that clip up yet or that vlog, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I think I wanna like put it with this one or not, but we are renovating our kitchen right now at the moment at the same time. We've got a lot of new appliances and new stuff. I have footage of that on my actual regular camera and not on my phone, but I definitely want to try and, I can't figure out how to do this right. I want to definitely try and interpret that somewhere into this vlog or put them together in some way or another. But 
Yes. And then definitely keep an eye out for a full on haul um, of the other stuff that I purchased from Ulta and from the dollar store to be coming up. And then after I do that haul, I'll probably end up doing a full face of makeup using some of that stuff. So again, um, let's just continue on with our day. I apologize. The lighting sucks a little bit. Is it better over here with the actual natural light? Yes, it is. Um, but you guys can kind of see a little sneak peek behind me. Uh, but yeah, so let's go ahead and go thrifting and go to the Goodwill. All right, so I was able to go into the Goodwill, but apparently they close at six o'clock and I didn't know that, which is kind of really early. But as I was talking to the girl at checkout, she said it's because of pandemic hours. Before they used to open until eight, now they close at six o'clock, which I was cutting it really close. I didn't realize that until I walked up and I was like five minutes until they locked the doors. So I practically did like a five minute dash in and out of the Goodwill. I really didn't get to go to every section I wanted to because I was really looking for a good pair of jeans today and a cute top. So I kind of went for a monochromatic look that I was actually able to pick up at Goodwill. Total cost of this outfit was $12, no, actually $13. Um, I paid $4.49 for the blouse and then $6.99 for the jeans and then I donated 72 cents to Goodwill to round up to go towards um, the charity that they do which is towards jobs and um, disability all those different things so you could probably look it up on the Goodwill website to actually figure it out so I was able to find this really cute shirt I'm hoping I can kind of like prop this up really quickly um, if not oops sorry the Goodwill's already closed and this lady is about to find out here in like 2.5 seconds that they have closed so I got this cute shirt by Croft and Barrow, which this is what it looks like. Super duper cute blouse. As you can tell, has this really pretty detailing on the middle, um, if you can tell. And then again, it's just like a rounded hem at the end. I don't know what kind of fabric this is made out of. It's just really soft. It's 100% polyester. Um, and then obviously it has these buttons in the back. Traditional blouse. These blouses actually real look really good on me because of my large chest um, but again it was $4.49 and then the pair of jeans which I thought was a steal of a deal I've been looking for jeans like this so obviously there's a trend of like the boyfriend jean well these are the girlfriend jeans same type of um I guess same type of category but these I found by Banana Republic in my size which is a 20 which is a 29 um, petite or eight and I am petite since I am five four if you guys didn't know that but these jeans are super duper cute long and then kind of have that like boyfriend boot cut down at the bottom typical jeans I did make sure to put it up to myself to make sure that it was going to fit me so that was the outfit again kind of monochromatic dark denim and a dark shirt but that can look real cute and especially if you put it with some brown boots Ooh, be popping so that is the quick outfit that I was able to find. Now I probably might stop back again tomorrow because I've been really wanting to find a cute pair of shoes. Every now and then I can find a cute pair of boots. I found a really cute pair of leather boots uh, last year at the Salvation Army and I wear those like all the time. They're like the perfect heel. Per they had maybe just a smidge of a like scratch on them, but you can't really tell at all. And if I ever need to get any of my like leather goods, um, whether it's a purse or a belt or shoes touched up, we do have a shoe cobbler, which is not that far from my house. Um, but yeah, that is everything I got. I'm so sad. I really wanted to find a cute pair of shoes and I was unable to do that. I also need to take this bag that's in the back of my car. I meant to donate the other day from work from our lost and found. Um, so I'm going to take it across the street. This other place actually has a drop box since this place does not have a drop box. You actually have to ring the doorbell in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and take that over and then also stop and get my car washed. And then we'll be back home. And then I need to actually start filming, filming for the day and actually going into my, um, my bedroom and actually sit down and film some videos today. So obviously, like I told you guys in this video, we got some really good stuff from the dollar store. We got some really good stuff from Ulta today. Obviously, I wasn't able to film inside Ulta. I feel, I feel kind of weird if I did that. I didn't feel weird inside Costco. I didn't feel weird inside the dollar store, but Ulta sometimes I definitely would feel weird doing it. But in general, um, 
yeah, that was kind of my day in a nutshell. If I'll probably take you guys along just a little bit longer, probably as I make my dinner and kind of wind down. And then I might just end the vlog there. But obviously look out for the next video coming up soon, which will either be the Ulta haul or the actual dollar store haul. I don't know if I'm going to combine the two or if I'm going to make them two separate videos. I think I'm going to make them two separate videos. I'm not sure. So, yeah. I don't know what to do, guys. And I also need to figure out how I'm going to transition because I want to do that video. I also need to announce my um, winner for my recent video um, which was my Ipsy video for January going into February. Now I will let you guys know, I appreciate any of you guys who are watching this video. Hopefully I can hit 300 followers this month in February. Cause if I do, then I definitely want to go ahead and do a second giveaway in the month of February just to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everyone that's been following my channel this past week. I actually gained, I think like 14 new subscribers, which is so cool. So exciting. So again, I love you guys so, so much. Let's just keep on going into this video and let's get our butts home. All right, so we're back home again. I am deciding to go ahead and make my dinner really quickly. So I've decided to go ahead and do some frozen tilapia and do some mashed cauliflower from Trader Joe's that I got. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick salad. Now this mix is just in a different container. It's actually a container from work, um, but it just fit this so perfectly because that's what I had left over. Um, and I like to use those reuses sometimes because I just don't like to throw away if I can reuse something. Um, but yeah, that's just a mixture of baby mix, baby lettuce mix. There's like spinach and like the random arugula and stuff like that that I got from Trader Joe's as well. Um, the salad dressing I'm going to go ahead and use is the Simply Dressing, the lemon vinaigrette. This is like so, so freaking good. Um, all of this is keto friendly for sure. And then what I like to do sometimes is go ahead and chop up some cucumbers um, pre ahead of time, throw a paper towel in there just so that they don't go bad. Um, just to help soak up some of that moisture. I'm going to go ahead and put that all on my salad. And then the other two are going to be my main course. So again, I have my salad as my pre-course, just obviously, and then obviously mashed potatoes and tilapia. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when I am done with it or throw in some cooking clips here in a moment as well. So yeah, oh, I just almost dropped my camera. <laughs> So I finished my dinner. I'm kind of disappointed in the tilapia because I used coconut oil for the first time to cook with and it definitely isn't that non-stick so it really broke the tilapia a lot. It's kind of sad but then I have the cauliflower mashed potatoes. They look kind of funky first time making these as well so I'm not really sure if I like it yet but this is going to be my dinner since I just ate that salad. And that is it for that. And I definitely am thinking about making a gin gimlet here in a second, possibly, since I have this big bag of limes and I can use the, like the hand squeezer to push out the lime juice. Um, but maybe I might just wait until later to do that. I'm unsure, but I'm going to go ahead and sit down and eat my dinner and then probably get to filming here shortly. So... I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. So I appreciate you guys watching me throughout my day. I apologize if some of it wasn't that entertaining, but you know, sometimes I like to vlog and show you guys what I do in my day to day type of life. So again, I appreciate you so, so much. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell down below so you never miss a video with me, your girl, Cinder D. And let's just go ahead and... I was about to say get started, but this is the end of the video. Uh, also, I'm going to add at the end of this video who the winner is for my February Ipsy giveaway. So, appreciate you so, so much. I will also go ahead and put that on Instagram as well. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!